horoscope and energy reading for June 12th. It's Friday. Friday is one of my most favorite days because that means it's the last of my 10 hour days. So <sighs> let's talk about today because this energy today is odd. And, and I'm going to be honest with you. There's two ways today could go and it could be very, very, very hardcore. It could be a lot of reality. It could be, and, and this is the way I think that the day is going to go for the majority of people. I want to start out by talking about Neptune and Pisces that is going to be in retrograde now. Remember, it went into retrograde at like 2 a.m. the previous morning. And so it is going to be quincunxing your Venus and Leo energy. Now, this means that this deeply intuitive connection that you're going to have with the universe is going to want you to pull back in pleasure-seeking activities. It's going to want you to pull back and ground yourself and think more about the big picture in life. Anytime you, anytime you get this Pisces energy in retrograde, it can make things sort of hazy and foggy. And this magnanimous um, Venus and Leo energy makes, makes you kind of a pleasure-seeking person. And it doesn't really allow you to have, to understand the full ramifications of what you're exactly doing. And so it can cause a lot of problems if you don't respect this energy. Anytime we have a quincunx, it means that it's pulling, and Neptune is pulling the veil off of this. So maybe you have a relationship, a romantic relationship that you are involved in or that you just got involved in. It's gonna pull the veil off of that. It's gonna help you see that relationship for what it is. It's going to help you see that creative endeavor for what it is. It's going to help you see you for what you really, really are. It's, it's going to make you vulnerable. It's going to make you unsure of your choice. And it's and you're going to be wavering. And that's okay because I think that um, there's a lot of energy in here asking you to weigh a specific issue in your life for a reason. I mean, it's not just Neptune and Pisces. You're also going to have Saturn and Sagittarius squaring off with your Mercury and Gemini energy. So that's going, and even though I, you know, Mercury's just now starting to speed back up, there's still something between your higher mind and your lower mind that you have to resolve. It, it, it's something that's internal. It's something that is deep within you that causes you at times to probably lose your power. So it's all about maintaining power in your life in balance. So if there's something that you are off balance in your life, there's something, there's some energy that is extremely important for you to evaluate and for you to just think about on a larger scale. How do you affect others? In your romantic relationships, how do you add to their lives? I mean, you're going to be asked this question. Um, or is there somebody pulling the wool over your eyes and pretending to be something that they're just truly not? And if so, what is that going to do to your life in the long run? I mean, you're going to have these questions that come up. Your moon is also going to go into Taurus today. So anytime your moon the moon goes into Taurus, this makes us think about our futures. It makes us think about what we value, tangible things and intangible things. So this makes us think about, you know, what the track that we have our life on. I mean, is it is it a sustainable track? Is it is it a, a long-term track? Is it something that's going to generate the future? This energy feels a little bit heavy to me. I'm going to be honest. It's a lot different from yesterday's energy. And even though there are beautiful sex tiles in here to concentrate and to talk about, I feel that most of us are going to be, are going to be pulled down. You know, this, 
this question that comes up about our relationships, about creative endeavors, about real estate, about anything that has to do with a contract. You know, if we're going to sign a contract about real estate, it's not about we can see our furniture in there. We can see our life in there. It's going to be about the reality of making that commitment to that particular area. Are you ready? Do you really, can you really see your life there? Because Neptune is going to point out some things that may make you think twice about that purchase. Twice about spending money over there. Twice about that person that you're with. It's going to make you think about everything on a larger scale. You're going to be pulling in all your five senses in this day. So you're going to be feeling anxious, I think, and anxiety. It's going to feel heavy for impasse. It's going to be a day where if you're not going in the right direction, you're going to feel this heaviness, this loss of balance, this paranoid feeling of like you just don't know what decision to make. You're not happy in any area of your life. If you're going to have this overwhelming antsy feeling. There are beautiful sex tiles to talk about. We can concentrate on them. I think though if we do, we're going to miss something very important in this day. And so I don't really want to concentrate on them because there's some there's a message here. There's a message in today that I think is very important that you learn, very important that you respect and very important that you evaluate and you move forward with. Because there's some, you, you're, you're seeing through rose-colored glasses something that Neptune in Pisces is going to pull off today. And you've got to make a very good decision based on that information. This has to do with very big areas in your life. How you communicate with others effectively. How you get what you want. How you value things. What you value. It's going to be in areas of like using your higher mind and your lower mind. It's going to be in love and romance, and it's going to be in creative endeavors. It's going to be how you push forward with these things. You're going to have a big day of like, ah, am I doing the right thing? There is good energy to happen. I think for the people that are on the right track, you're going to have a blessed day. Jupiter and Leo is going to be just sextiling Mars, so if something passionate could come up, you could pursue it, and you could get a blessing today. If you are on the right track, if you are not, I think you're going to fall into this category of this heavy day and this hard energy. Just know that we're given these days to, to forewarn us, to, to prepare us. It's like we get a little, it's like we get a little fairy godmother in us saying, please don't do that. You're not ready or this isn't ready or this isn't a good opportunity for you. And it is in turn a very, very big blessing if you can look at negative energy as such. Which I do. I am very thankful that I don't get everything I want because sometimes when you don't get everything you want, then that means that you didn't anticipate what you did want. I always love this little, it's a little country song that I usually listen to that just, I don't know, makes me feel good about what I don't get. And it's some of God's greatest gifts is unanswered prayers. I love that song. It just makes, it humbles me. It makes me understand there is, there is more to what my path is than what I directly want. I hope you do tap in and have a great day. I hope that you are on the right track and that you will benefit from this energy. If you don't, then just know that you have angels watching over you and that it's okay that, you know, this day will pass and something will be revealed that will help you take you to that next level. Have a fabulous and wonderful day, and I look forward to talking to you guys again tomorrow.